I just want to make um, a, a mention of, um, for a minute, about a particular concern that is confronting us as a state right now, because it's an example of a problem and a problem that I'd like for us to figure out a way to solve. As some of you know, Gilead Sciences has brought to market an incredible treatment for hepatitis C. We now have a cure for this devastating disease. Unfortunately, the cost of treatments means that patients who need the drugs the most do not have a means to access the medication because of the cost. Now, I'll tell you that people in this state, and I venture to say across this country, are going to need access to this kind of treatment more than ever. Because unfortunately, in no small part due to uh, the heroin crisis and the opioid crisis, we have seen hep C rates rise across this state. It's scary. It's really scary. It's rapidly spreading. Now, last year, Medicaid spending on these drugs increased sixfold. State Medicaid programs nationwide, just to give you a sense, spent $1.3 billion on Silvaldi. That was before rebates, I acknowledge. But only, in, in most estimates, um, only uh, accessing uh, just under 3% of the patients who actually would need access to this kind of treatment. At the same time, as I said, hep C rates have continued to rise. So even though we're spending more um, on this treatment, the fact of the matter is this is an infectious disease and the disease is rapidly spreading across this state and in, a, and in other states. Let me also be clear. Um, Gilead bought a company that made this drug for $11.2 billion. In the first year alone, they sold $12.4 billion worth of the drug. Good for them and good for those who were able to access it. Today, Gilead is literally making billions in profits. Meanwhile, we've got an infectious disease that's curable rising. More people are sick, more people will die. There has to be a way where inventors of these life-saving drugs can both reap, rightly reap, their financial reward and for us to find a way to get more of these medicines to the patients who need them. It is a problem we need to solve. The status quo prolonging a terrible infectious disease where a cure is sitting in pills and on pharmacy shelves is unacceptable. And that's why we've called on Gilead to reconsider and take a look at its pricing structure for Silvaldi and Harvoni. There has to be a better way to balance the cost of research and development the understandable focus on profit and making these life-saving drugs more accessible to people. I know more one-time administrations are coming uh, when we look at the approvals for orphan drugs in particular, and I just think it really raises for all of us some serious questions that are hard, but I think we've got to confront, and I'd like to confront those questions together. Raises issues for investors when we think about how they're going to rationalize their investments um, in new technology. And it raises profound issues of public policy, uh, profound issues uh, when it comes to, to, to policy around health, health care, and who's going to have access to what in the future. So I raise this, folks. It may be uncomfortable. That's OK. Uh, we're used to uncomfortable. I raise it because I fundamentally think it's important. And as I say, I think we've got in Massachusetts a terrific opportunity to work on this together. I know that all of you are about solutions. That's what you do in your businesses, in your companies, in your research. You're about solving problems. And you're about solving some of the most profound problems that confront all of us. You are the doctors and the scientists and the researchers who have made advances in life-saving drugs for previously untreatable diseases. You were the doctors and the scientists who got into this business to help people and to make their lives better. And because of your efforts, Massachusetts has been and will continue to be a leader worldwide. So let's be a leader on this. Let's figure out a way to solve this. I look forward to continuing the dialogue, to continuing 
the partnership to continuing the conversation, and I really do appreciate the opportunity to connect with all of you here today. Thanks.